Hey everyone, I'm Ghost Turbo, and welcome back to another episode on the family server. In our last episode, we built a fantastic little Enderman farm and got all geared up. And as you can see, things have happened. No, I did not lose it all to fire. This is actually all due to arrow fire from Skeleton, so I've been super busy. Uh, I've lit up all the caves under my base over there in 128 blocks in every direction. So it's pretty much mob proofed. And I got so many resources. We got them all lined up here. Check it out. We got coal. We got iron. We got copper. We got more iron, copper, and uh, coal. We got lapis. We got gold. We got some redstone. So what I want to do now is stack up all these blocks and harvest them all so let's let's get into a little time lapse let's go Oh yeah, there's something just so satisfying about seeing those blocks get destroyed. So check it out. It's not as impressive anymore. And I did forget to show you guys this little gem. Uh, check out all the diamonds that I collected while I was down there too. I'm not going to be harvesting these right now because uh, I just don't need them. But there they are. Not bad. So now what we want to do is we want to smelt up all of these items, and we're going to need a super smelter for that. So that's what we're going to build next. We're going to build the AFK smelter because I don't want to sit here and put each of these in the super smelter for an hour. I want to put them in and then walk away. So let's just get into another time lapse. Let's go. Alright, there she is. Isn't she a beaut? I actually haven't tested it out yet, although everything's in place, and I've double-checked uh, most of my work. So it's looking really good. Uh, for those who haven't seen this before, it's pretty straightforward. You put shulker boxes filled with items in here, and they go down into this dropper. And you just press the button here, and it starts the whole system. And uh, you already have a hopper minecart in there, so... That'll drain the shulker box. Go down to the end. We're taking 
uh, advantage of the new waterlogged rails mechanics and slowly goes down at the end that comes back sits here in place and then uh, as this triggers whoops as that triggers it goes all the way down at the end and the next one comes in its place so yeah what we need to do now is collect a whole bunch of kelp uh, dried kelp so I actually have started a farm up there you can see it and it's a pretty terrible farm <laughs> But uh, we're going to make some pretty good ones. We're going to go all the, way around, all the way around the outside here with some kelp farms. And, yeah, we can get this thing loaded. I don't want to use my coal that I collected. It seems like just a big waste. I would pretty much blow it all in just a, a couple runs. So I'm going to save that. Kelp's, you know, free once you get a, the farms up. So um, I'm going to do that off camera. I don't have the, the materials to build the whole thing and make it look good so we're just gonna tear that one down and just start building around the outside with some temporary blocks and start collecting all the kelp so i'm gonna get i'm gonna get to that and i'll be right back all right so we moved our kelp farm it's redesigned and it's way more efficient than it was when it was up there so that's good and if we come down around here we have a little setup where we're gathering some re gathering the resources so Kelp comes in here. We're not connecting it directly because uh, this kelp farm is just not efficient enough to keep up with the smoker. So what we need to do is just continuously put some stuff in here and pick it out. Um, if we were just to let it flow, eventually what would happen is uh, we'd be wasting our dried kelp blocks. So yeah, we're going to let this do its thing. And that kelp farm is going to get a whole lot bigger. Like, it's going to be massive. It's going to be all the way around the outside here. It's going to be crazy. But we need to gather the resources in order to design uh, this how it's meant to be. Because this isn't the block palette we're going to use. We're going to need a lot of blackstone. So what I need to do now is go build a gold farm so we can do some piglin trading and get all the blackstone we'll ever need. Let's go do that now. All right, I got myself some Frostwalker, put on my Elytra, and we are out here next to my Hoglin farm. And we're going to build this gold farm right here. Let's do this. All right, there it is. Now, you probably noticed that it is a Nimbon design, and I didn't actually follow his tutorial, but I uh, copied his layout, so, because obviously he did all the work already, so it should be pretty efficient. I didn't do all the layers. We ran out of some magma blocks, but that's all right. This should be efficient enough for what I'm looking to get right now, and We'll definitely be adding some more layers later. And down here, I uh, kind of did my own thing. So this is purely a drops uh, design. And yeah, the, they go in here. They all get filtered. I'm torching all the uh, rotten flesh because I don't want it, don't need it. And yeah, this thing's you know already starting to give us some gold. So I'm going to go and do an AFK session and 
Let's see how many resources we get overnight. All right, so it's been about 12 hours, and let's see how we did. So it's been hopefully crushing it. So that's looking good. Uh oh. That's not looking good. It's broke. What dropped? An Enderman spawned in there somehow? Whoa, what? Wait a second, we filled all the way up? I don't believe it. Oh my gosh. I honestly didn't think we would fill this whole thing up. Did this one break too? Let's remove these real quick. Wow, that's crazy. Let's pillar up there and see uh, what our filter looks like. Grab some blocks really quick. Right. Sure, this is all kinds of broken. Wait, no. You know what? It was probably from um, before I put in the filter. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm sure this one's fine too. Let's check it out. Yeah, cool. They both did great. And wow. How did we like just catch it like right on time or something? Like how is this not completely full? That would be pretty nuts. We caught it like perfectly. Anyways, we got a lot of blocks to gold blocks to work with now, so there's only one thing to do with gold, and that is to create a uh, Piglin Trading Center. So that's our next project. We're going to do that right now. I have an actually an all new design. I started from scratch and, and built up something super cool. And uh, I'm going to be building it now. So let's do it. All right. So here's where we're going to build this thing. And you can see our gold farm over there. Hogwood farm over there. We actually have our portal to the end over there. And... We, we need to build it this far away from these because this thing is going to have 128 piglins. So if you know uh, that the mob count's 70, that means we're going to have to go 128 blocks away from this area to lure some more hoglins to the farm. So this process is going to take quite a bit of time. So I'll probably, probably be back with you guys in like a week. All right, so we got the holding chambers in place and you can see that there are four sections around a center soul sand mirrored on this side. And now what we wanna do is we want to get some piglins into the holding cells. So we're gonna build a spawning platform over, over there and we're gonna start bringing them, bringing them in here. All right, we're halfway done. We have 64 piglins in there. And I turned off the sound so I could actually hear myself think. But, uh, yeah, mobs are still spawning up here at basically the same rate as they always do. So I guess entities that are holding items, which technically these are, they all I give them all golden boots. So I guess they don't count towards the mob cap. So... This is going to be a lot easier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to go way down there. Um, so yeah, we're going to start working on this other side, and we'll be back. All right, we now have all 128 piglins in their cells, and I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning this up, finish the build, and then I'll show you how it works. Be right back. All right, that's all done. So let's check this thing out. I put the some chests down here. We're going to be doing a manual a uh, collection of items at this point, but I do have plans in the future to change that. Um, but yeah, up here we put in our items. I got a lever. 
that will turn this system on. So if we come down around here on the back, you can see we have an Etho hopper clock. And every eight seconds, it's going to trigger the uh, pistons at the bottom that will push the items in to the center and drop them down. And then below us is a um, observer clock. And that's just going to flicker back and forth. And there are four droppers in each side. So uh, it's just going to continuously pulse and shoot those items out. And the piglins will collect them. And they fall on top of a... Let's see if we can take a look at it. Uh, fall on top of... No, we can't see it. <laughs> uh... Actually, we've come out of here, you'll be able to see. There's a piece of soul sand. So that soul sand gives just enough gap where uh, items will fall down and they, the piglins can pick them up. And when they chuck their items, they, they can't chuck them back on top of the soul sand because the gap's too small. So they'll just fall down on their feet and get pushed down in the middle here. And I'm going to collect them and put them in these chests. So... I haven't actually tested this thing yet, so let's go back up to the top and throw in a stack. And let's put some of these in there. These are going to get taken out. We can pull the lever. Yes. See the... Uh, looks like everything's working great. You can hear that the... Oh, actually, I should keep that on until they're done throwing. Um, but you can hear that the... Um, pistons... Or the, um, man, that's... Look at that, it's crazy. Uh, you can hear the <laughs> droppers firing out there. This thing's loud. I'm going to sort this stuff and I'll be right back. All right, now that we're all organized, let's give this thing a full test with a whole bunch of gold. And the main things we want right now are obsidian and blackstone. So let's just see what this thing's capable of. All right, so one double chest filled with gold equals about four and a half stacks of obsidian and almost a full chest of blackstone. Uh, a few stacks did despawn, uh, but I'm not too worried about that because we're just absolutely loaded on resources here now. i um, not sure we quite have enough, enough obsidian, so uh, in between episodes I am going to convert some more gold into these items, get some more chests, and kind of get stocked up on this stuff so we can build our next project. But Anyways, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and, of course, subscribe for more content like this. Thanks. Have a good day.